Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create breakable walls but in my own way. So quite basically all I've done here is, is a wall going from one side to the other and I've cut out a piece where the prop's going to go. Now this is a prop and score static with the world model of where I've written Forta break wall and I found this model here. Yep. So that's what I've done for that. Um, so now just insert this in the slot where you want it to go this is basically all you need to do and change the piece of wall which you are which is going to be broken to a funk underscore breakable and change breakable by everyone to all infected or all tanks only tanks of course and I need to change my material type to and use a cinder block and just put that over the prop. Alright, so now that I've done that, I'm going to just show you what it looks like like this. So right, hello guys. So with this map I've created the nav already and this button just basically spawns a zombie over here. So if I just click this a zombie's here. Get his attention. Hello. <laughs> Right, so you should break through the wall now. As this stuff. And it looks Morning. quite good. Right, but the thing is, these corners, yeah, they look okay for a texture map, but. Well, but yeah, I need to move that. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just sort the edges out. People use overlays and decals, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to do it my own way. So, let me just move this quickly in line. Right, so if I just move this breakable piece out of the way for a second, I want to make all this displacement. So by selecting them all by holding Control, click the toggle application, go to displacement, and create. Now I'm going to make it a power 2. Now, as you can see, little lines have come up. And I want to click and I want to go to the faces of where I want to be different. So there, hold control, click there, and hold control, click there. So the three faces where I want it to be a bit rough. So I click noise now. Minimum I'm going to have is 2.5 and max 5. You can have whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to have. And if I click OK, it does that. Now, clearly you don't want that. So if you click the toggle application tool again and click on that, on the faces where you want to connect it to. Go to displacement and click sew. This will sew it together as you can see. And you need to do this for every face. So if I just quickly do this. So click the face, three faces and click sew. Right, so that's just roughened up the edges a bit. Now if I move this in the way, it it'll look a bit weird. Now this is my way of doing it because I think it looks better than having props there. So what I do is I just move this out just a little bit. Now I know you shouldn't click Alt, but it can't do much harm if I'm doing it this way. Because it's not exactly connected to outside of the sky. So if I just compile this quickly and show you. Right, so I'm in the map now. Now it looks okay I guess if I just click this button. Get the zombies attention. Right, now the, the corners look a bit different now, they don't look so straight and they look a bit rough and it looks a bit better. So this concludes my tutorial and hope it's helped you.